Hey, hey, welcome to day number four of our power series. Today, we are talking all about the E in power, and that is empower, right? And obviously, the big word in there is power, right? And that goes right along with our um power series, right? So day one, we focused on I am powerful, I'm powerful, I'm powerful. Day two, we focused on I am open. Day three, we focused on I'm worthy and you guys really love that. I see people said they came back and listened to it again. Today, we're going to focus on, hey, today we're going to focus on being empowered. So I'm going to give you your affirmation. I'm going to give you some wisdom. Um, it's something you can do to focus on being more empowered. And then we're going to focus in on, um, it's like something in my hair, right? And then we're going to focus in on our power pose, right? We're almost to the end. We only have one day left. Um, tomorrow we're going to do radiant and <laughs> radiance. So then you'll have every single power pose you can do in the mirror. And then we'll have our challenge, the I am powerful challenge and see who can work it the best, right? So today when we're talking about being empowered, obviously your affirmation is I'm empowered. I'm empowered. I'm empowered. I'm empowered. That's what you want to say at least seven to 10 times, more like 10 times in the mirror. Please say it over over and over again. As we've been saying throughout this whole series, that repetition is what helps you to generate what you want to come next. What you're thinking and feeling connects to what you're believing on a consistent basis. And then that plugs into ultimately what you're going to manifest right on the other side so when we're talking about being empowered right that means almost like it's almost like you're powered up like a battery like you're ready to go right and when we're thinking about being empowered it brings me to think about we've been talking about abundance right we've been talking about not having a lack mindset or a lack mentality so when we are thinking about being empowered I'm not only thinking about abundance, I'm also thinking about what it means to be rich, right? So you could be wealthy and you can be rich, but I want you to go with me for a second, right? Um, because you can relate this to money, <laughs> but this is not about money. This is about you being rich in every single area of your life. And I say rich, so R-I-C-H, right? I'm talking about you are really intentional, and I'm typing this in right here, I'm typing in the letters, R-I-C-H, so you are really intentional and you are cultivated highly. So you're really intentional and cultivated highly, right? An empowered woman is rich. She's inner rich. So we're not talking about money per se. We are talking about she's inner rich. There is a richness to her, right? You ever like ate something and like, like say you ate a piece of like Dove candy. There is a richness to the texture. It's smooth. It's creamy. It like melts in your mouth. It's like a different type of chocolate. It's not like you're eating like a Hershey bar when you're eating Dove. Like that's her whole brand. Like they have the Dove soap and stuff. It's It's rich. Right, it's rich and it's creamy and it's smooth. Right, it just operates in a different way. That that is their whole brand. That's why their candy is rich and it's smooth. So when we're talking about being empowered, I want you to be rich. I want you to be inner rich, really intentional, and then cultivated highly. How do you become? How do you become rich? How do you become financially rich? How do you become spiritually rich? How do you become romantically rich, where you are full of worthiness and self love, and those things are oozing and emitting out of you so much so that physically you are radiating and radiant so that romantically you are attractive and magnetic how do you become rich and again we're not talking about money we're talking and then there's richness and there's wealth right it's like there's beauty and there's radiance because you could be rich you could be beautiful but it's different from you being wealthy and you being radiant two different things like she's wealthy and she's radiant because anybody could just be could be pretty and rich, right? Or beautiful and rich, <laughs> right? But rich is not the same as being wealthy. Rich means you can have a lot of stuff, right? But wealthy means you know how to sustain it over time. How do people become wealthy with money, right? Because of the things that they invest in, the things that they are investing in, whether that's stocks, whether it's mutual funds, right? It's the things that they're investing in. It's not only that, many wealthy people, they invest in books, they invest in coaches, they invest time where other people don't, right? So there's a little saying that I used to use in my classroom and now I had the kids debate it, right? And it was like, it was like, 
rich people have big libraries, poor people have big TVs, right? So I used to make kids debate this, right? And some kids would agree, some kids would disagree because they would say, well, rappers, they have TV, they have both. They have books and they have TVs. Do they? Well, rappers, you know, got both, right? So they would say that that was their thing. And I'm like, are they rich or are they wealthy? Because just because you come on and you throw a lot of money around, doesn't mean that you're wealthy, all right? And the same is true. Just because you look good on Facebook and Instagram doesn't mean you're wealthy. Just because you might try to appear a certain way does not mean you're really rich or wealthy, all right? So there's a difference between the two. So becoming inner rich, hey, so becoming inner rich, like I said, is being really intentional and cultivating yourself highly. So that requires that you invest money, time, and energy into becoming a, a fierce, confident, and empowered woman. So when I'm saying investing, right? So how much are you investing into getting the body that you want? People that invest, right? They're trying to be physically rich, right? Because they're eating the fruits and vegetables, right? That's what they're invest. They're investing their time in buying those healthy foods. And then they're investing their time daily if they're exercising or moving and they're working out, right? Because they want to be physically rich. If you want to be financially rich, you can invest in stocks. You can invest in those mutual funds. You can also invest in like Dave Ramsey, you know, that's some that's a popular part person or Susie Orman, right? People invest in them to teach them what to do, right? If you want to be romantically rich, you might, and if you want to be romantically rich, you might invest in a love coach. You might invest in books about love and about relationships, right? Because you want to grow your knowledge so that you are really intentional about what you're doing. And because you're cultivated highly, you're going to know how to date now compared to before. You're going to have a different mindset when he doesn't text you back for three days. You're now going to know how to move and operate in the right way as you move forward and move into your next level and move into your next direction direction, right? So again, you can be rich in all the different areas, but you do have to invest something into it. And then you get an ROI, a return on that investment, right? So what's the return on my, on me investing in, um, that book? If I read this book for $15, what's going to be the return on my investment? That's a low investment, right? But what's going to be the return of that? So when we're thinking about being an empowered woman, Empowered women are the sum total of the experiences that they've invested the time, money, and energy in in order for them to become more intentional about the choices and decisions they make, about the thoughts that they think, and the way they operate in the world, right? But then they're also cultivated highly. The easiest ways for you to get cultivated highly, right? That's why we go to college, right? That's why we go back and get our master's, right? We want to be trained in certain things, but... Notice that a lot of us are professionally rich, right? A lot, not all of us, but a lot of us tend to do really well at our careers because we have gotten training, we have gotten certification, so we feel a little bit more, a little bit more empowered in that area. But then those same women, you'll notice they're going to struggle in their relationships, maybe, right? They're going to struggle in their finances because you spent four years getting an education to focus just on that one area of becoming rich. And as a fierce, confident, and powerful woman. And you have to focus on every single part of yourself and you don't have to do it all at one time on the same night, the same day. It's, it's good for you to break that up over time in order for you to learn and to grow. But ultimately, there has to be some type of investment or training for you to become who you need to be. Right. And when you're ready to go to a new level that you've never been in, you need to learn. So even if you have been married for 10 years already, right, let's say. There are people that have been married 25 years. So when you hit 10 years and you're like, oh, let's have a 10-year anniversary, that's still time for you to invest in learning something new. So now that I'm at my 10-year anniversary with my husband now, how do I make it to 25 years, right? How does marriage shift? How does it change? So that would be the perfect time to invest in learning more, whether that's you invest in time looking on YouTube for videos, whether that's you actually paying and going to like couples or marriage therapy or counseling, you know, to work through anything that's come up over them taking because something's going to come up, right? And that time frame, right? And that's also the same thing if, if you're single, right? It's the same thing. What are you investing in that is helping to grow you, that's helping to develop you, right? To, um, to, be, to be positioned for what it is that you want. 
in a partner, to, to be magnetic to that partner, to also make sure that you do feel worthy, you do feel powerful, and you are open to what's coming your way. Right. And what have you invested in to prepare you for that? The same thing financially. What have you invested in to position you and to prepare you for um, for your for your finances to be at a place where you can buy a new car? You can buy a new house. You can pay off that credit card bill. You can pay off that student loan debt. You can prepare to send your kids to college. So what resources are you invested in? I know I recently sat down. I like to do money dates <laughs> with my money where I sit down, I pay bills and I like to be intentional about, okay, I'm saving this. I have this here. I have this there. But as I was doing that, I realized that in this decade, I would like to learn I now feel like I'm in a place I want to learn a new way to manage my money, right? So I kind of created my own system, but when I'm like on Instagram, there are a ton of, especially black females who really have learned because they've invested and they went through trial and error. They really learned how to manage their money in a way that is like, wow, where they're, where they have real estate, where they have, they have all of these things in order. And I was like, hmm. I really am interested in possibly investing time, money, or energy in working with them, right? I'm going to follow them. That's a low investment, right? I'm going to follow them on social media. Um, and one of them, I brought her book. I think it's Tiffany, the budgetista in her Facebook group. And I love the stuff they post. You probably have heard of her. Um, she's always on Essence. She's on different um, shows like all of the time. But anyway, it's her, but it's also a couple of other people. There's also Tanya Rapoli as well. I really love her. Um, and I saw her in the She Did That documentary on Netflix, which was very good about black female entrepreneurs. But anyway, when you're ready to try something new or to do something new, um, in order for you to be, I, like, I want to feel empowered too. Like, I really want to do stuff in the stock market. So my best friend is like, I'm sending you this link and you need to do this. You need to, I'm like, slow down. Like, so I'm going to invest the time to sit down with her on the phone, <laughs> right? Because she's all the way in North Carolina, but I'm going to sit down and invest the time to learn from her so that I can be empowered to then invest on my own. Right. Because she can do it for me, but then I'm not learning. Right. You know how they always say you could teach a man how to, you know, um, you can go get a man like a fish or something. I don't know. And then he'll eat. But you can go and you, if you teach him how to fish, he'll he'll never go hungry again. Right. Because he's going to know how to do it over and over again. So an empowered woman, it's almost like she's the same way. So somebody else can do it for you. Um, in certain aspects, which you need to learn how to manage your own finance, because you can get somebody else to come in and run your business finances. But then what if they end up taking money from you? <laughs> and then you're like, oh, like you weren't being loyal or you weren't tracking it. You just trusted someone else just to do to do all of that. But you yourself weren't empowered. So, again, today is the E and we're talking about being an empowered woman. And we're talking about the fact that, A, you should be saying I am empowered seven to ten times in the mirror. The second thing I'm focusing on is that an empowered woman, as I said, is a rich woman. And she is really intentional and she's cultivated highly. And in order for you to be rich, we're talking about you have to invest in yourself in different ways and at different levels in order for you to be spiritually rich, to be financially rich. And we're not just talking about just physical money because uh, I'm um, being abundant. That's a, that's a mindset, right? That you, that you operate with, like having the mindset that money loves me and money comes to me. Money is constantly taking care of me. Money is, is, is coming in unexpected and expected ways. You see how easily I'm saying that? I say that stuff all the time. I have affirmations that say it. I have audios that say it. Um, and, you know, and I'm I'm listening to it as often as I can, right? If you come in my bedroom, you'll see I have money affirmations all around my bookshelf. You'll see I have self-love affirmations all around my mirror. Now, I don't necessarily say them as much now because I have new stuff that's now on my phone, um, but the, they're still there. They're still present. They were a part of my journey um, to becoming who I am. So, again, what you repeatedly think and, and feel is what you're believing, so that's the same thing, what you repeatedly say, think, feel, and believe is what's manifesting for you on the outside. So if you are investing in people, places, things, and experiences that are cultivating you to go up, come up higher, then obviously you're going to be richer financially, professionally. That's why we have professional development, even though everybody's development ain't popping, right? Did y'all know that they have... Forbes.com, they have free personal development, business, entrepreneurship, 
um, in leadership classes. If you do a free 14 day trial, any of their classes, and they have a ton of classes that you finish in those 14 days. Okay. <laughs> Anything you finish in those 14 days, you can be like certified in that particular thing, right? You have 14 mm-hmm. days to do it. <laughs> Here go my students texting me. Um, right. So, and that's an example of me. Like that's something that I want to professionally, right. I want to invest in myself and I'm being really intentional about that. And I want to cultivate myself in a particular area, right. So that I can come up higher. Right. Right. So you got to keep that in mind. So your task for today for being empowered is where can I be richer in my life? Where can I be richer, spiritually richer, financially, romantically, right? Spiritually. I probably already said that. That's probably my favorite one. But you can also, you could be spiritually rich, but you can also be spiritually bankrupt, right? Those people that feel like they're in that drought season where they haven't really prayed. They haven't been doing their confidence routine. They haven't, you know, been releasing and journaling, but they've been stressed out and anxious and worried and kind of all over, you know, kind of all over the place. And it's like, you're not tapping in. You're not plugging in. You're not going within. You're like so focused on the fear, right? And and the thing, the uncertainty that's all outside and around you and you need to like come back in right you want to be spiritually rich so that you can tap in and that when you do fast or you do pray um that you're in tuned enough to hear things but you can't do that when you have just so much going on in your mind or you're so afraid because of what you see around you right so we gotta stop i'm um, seeing letting what we see make us forget who we really are, right, in the spiritual world or who we really are to God or with something that God has already told us just because you might see something different on the outside, such as a pandemic or or such as you see that person you really love, now he married somebody else. So you're like, oh, well, maybe I can't get married or I can't have love. No, perhaps there's somebody else even better for you, but you were too, you're too focused on that, right? So, your assignment is to make a list of what areas of your life where you feel like you want to be more spiritually rich, what areas of your life you feel like you're spiritually bankrupt, and then next to that on the paper, so spiritually rich um, or spiritually bankrupt, you can make different different areas, spiritually rich, spiritually bankrupt, and then next to that, right, then you can go ahead... Um, Sorry, that you can go ahead and figure out where do you need to invest money, time, or energy um, into that area. So if it's your finances, is there a coach you can um, invest in? Is there a book that you can read? Is there a challenge? Like I said, Tiffany, the budgetista, she has a free like 21 challenge to buy a house to get your budget down in like one week. Now, I bought her book for $10. You can buy the book version for $10 on Amazon, but she also has a free version where you like get the emails every day. Right. It was basically the same thing. So it's like that's a low investment, but obviously you can work with people at at different levels, but at least you're investing in something. So maybe it is a small investment, but you don't become who you want to be without making investments and sacrifices along the way. Right. So a lot of people come um, come to me and ask me, oh, can you help me with branding? Like somebody brought up to me earlier today, like every day this week, somebody's asking me about branding. And somebody was like, oh, well, we were looking for a volunteer. And I was like, well, I'm sorry I don't volunteer my brand and our marketing services anymore. Like, I've already paid my dues. I've already invested a lot of my time where I did do it for free so that I can learn the things that I know. But then I also had invested a lot of money. I had like a branding coach I've had before. I've had business coaches. I had books. I have books right in front of me. So I've done a lot of trial and error. So so you're not um, paying me to necessarily do the job. You're paying me for all of the years of experience, right? And all of the time and energy I've took to master that skill. So I can go on Facebook and make one post and boom, just like that, somebody can sign up for a program or boom, just like that, your marketing is done for the whole week, right? I've spent um, years and I've spent thousands of dollars and a lot of time and energy reading the books, practicing, doing trial and error, reading through research, looking at the trends, doing this to, to, in order for me to be able to make out your marketing campaign for your nonprofit organization in five business days, right? Where y'all have been struggling with it for five years, right? I can do it in like five days or for some, I can do it in five hours or less. I can do it in five minutes, right? So I told the people at my job that I would make these little profile picture things for them while we are going on Zoom to do online learning. So I said, just send me a headshot of you and I will get it back to you. As soon as they sent it, boom, I like, they were like, damn, you sent that quick. 
Ex- exactly, right? I sent it like that. As soon as they sent it to me, I booted it and then I sent it right back to them. And they were like, whoa, right? Um, right? So that's because I have been really intentional about cultivating that area. So I want that, that area is obviously going to flourish. So now people are really noticing it and they're like, oh, hey, can you do blah, blah, blah? No, <laughs> I mean, in certain instances, um, but no, right? Because I know my worth, as we talked about yesterday, I know my worth and I'm open to new opportunities coming to me, right? Um, but I know, I know my worth, I know my value and I know that it presents itself as very powerful to others, but I'm empowered enough to be like, no, I'm not just going to give away all the things that I've learned just to be giving them away because y'all don't want to invest in something very important like marketing. <laughs> right or branding so right which which takes time to learn right it's a lot of stuff to learn about it to to be good at it and be able to work right so anyway those are some examples right so what do you so where are you spiritually rich where are you spiritually bankrupt and then what can you invest in is there a coach you can invest in? is there a mentor can you go on forbes it's a free 14-day trial after that you might have to pay like some of the courses go up to two thousand dollars and i paid for courses like that in the past so that's not scary to me per se um but you you got to think about there are free resources out there right everything is not something that has to be paid for right that's why i have you know free challenges in the group so that people can they can go through they can they can get a, a taste of what it's like you know if i was to be their coach right they have that opportunity to go through it and to to learn so take advantage of it right when you have the opportunities too but then there's other time we have to invest. And honestly, when you invest at a higher level, it's not necessarily the money, right? It's more so just the fact that you're putting that. In. So money, money is like an energy exchange. So when you're giving out, you know, the money, it's like you're getting back. It's like, what am I getting back in return? for that, right? And you will get returns on the investments that you put out there. You can become more powerful. You can become more confident. You can become wealthier, right? You can become more magnetic. You can become more confident, more more certain, more confident, more clear in who you are and what it is um, that you would like to do or who it is you would like to, to ultimately to be, right? So again, just to recap um, for day number four of the power series, we're talking about being empowered, say empowered 10 times. We're talking about being spiritually rich, not spiritually, but just rich in general, right? Which is being really intentional and cultivating yourself at a higher level. So make a list of where you feel like you're spiritually rich, where you feel like you're spiritually bankrupt, where you feel like you're financially rich or financially bankrupt, romantically, professionally, you know, physically with your body. Are you rich in that area or are you a little bankrupt, right? Because you've kind of been just snacking on anything and you may have gained some of that weight back that you might have lost a while ago or that could be a struggle for you. Then on the other side of that right now, where can I invest? Is there a program I can invest in? Is there a coach? Can I go to therapy? Can I go to coaching? Is there a free free product or service or resource? Is there a book that I can read? Is there a is there like a, a Sarah Jakes Roberts video right on YouTube that can help me understand this thing more? Right. So you just never know what that can be. But where can I invest? Where can I come up a little bit higher and invest a little bit more than normal? Like, how can I go beyond just saying, oh, that sounds good on Facebook or oh, that sounds good on Instagram? How can I empower myself to come up higher to the next thing? Right. And then our power pose for today is simply taking your hands and then you're putting them on your hips. I know you can't fully see, but it's simply taking it. And <laughs> right, I know you see me a little bit and putting your hands on your hips like like I'm empowered, you know. So it's like this, right? You putting your hand on your hip like that, right? So and that's on putting your hands on both of your hips. So that is I empowered. I am empowered, right? So right, and then it's putting your chin up like this. I am empowered. Right. So remember, we're putting all of these together because we're ultimately creating the I am powerful challenge. So day one was the P in power. So simply putting your arms up in the air. So I am powerful. Day two is open. You're spreading your arms out wide. So I am open. Right. I'm open, God. So what blessings you're bringing my way. I'm open and I'm receptive to receive something new. Right. Then the W was I'm worthy. That was simply this. I'm worthy of love. I'm worthy of being cherished, nurtured, valued. And then today, remember, is I am in, like I am empowered. I am rich. I'm spiritually rich. I'm mentally rich. I'm emotionally rich. Right. 
because I go to I go to my therapy and I talk to my therapist and I uncover this and I heal that. And I'm financially rich because I've been able to get my finances in order so that I intentionally save properly so that I can buy the things what I want without being in debt, right? I'm romantically rich. I have an amazing partner, right? He loves me. I love him. And beyond that, we are we are purposeful and we are equally yoked. We are in alignment, right? And his purpose connects and goes with my purpose, right? And then we keep going. I'm spiritually rich, right? And I am connected to God in ways that I haven't been in years. Our relationship deepens in intimacy day in and day out. I'm just giving y'all examples, <laughs> right? Of what I mean by being empowered, by being rich, right? It's really based on those investments that a woman has made over her lifetime. That's why a woman by the end of her lifetime will be full of wisdom, right? Because of the things she has invested in, right? And she's learned and she's healed. She's evolved. She's grown. So then she passes that wisdom on. She passes those things on to the next generation, whether she has children or not. Somebody else is always looking to come behind you, right? Look at Madam CJ Walker. Look at um, Oprah Winfrey. What are people going to say about you when you're no longer? What is the legacy? So I want you to be positioned to leaves a beautiful legacy okay so that's it for today for being empowered so say affirmation make your spiritually rich spiritually bankrupt <laughs> what investments can i make make your list um and then last but not least don't forget your pose right put the hands on both hips put that up hey right like the fearless girl is it the fearless girl it's like in new york they have that fearless girl statue it's kind of like the same thing it's almost like like I'm in power, honey. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate it. So if you have liked this video, make sure you leave a takeaway. If you haven't seen the whole power series, you can go back through the group and look for the other videos, or you can go to, you can go in the group at bit.ly slash fear squad. You can go mm -hmm. to our YouTube channel at bit.ly sorry, at bit.ly slash fierce TV and look up power series. And you can see all the videos in this series. Eventually all five of them will be up so that you can see all of them. And don't forget, if you have been enjoying this series, if you enjoy me, if you've done challenges, if you're on the email list and you resonate with my style and you enjoy it, then it's probably time for you to invest in yourself and go to your next level. So the doors for Powerfully Positioned Women Academy are open again um, for this year. Um, and you can go to bit.ly slash power academy. You can find that um, link above or below, depending on where you're watching this at. Um, and you can go ahead and join us right in there. We're now down to two spots. So somebody um, just enrolled today. So we only have two spots left. So I only take us, I take a small number of women in because there are some one-on-one -on -one sessions we do. And I'm also a teacher, right? So, and I also have other clients outside of this Powerfully Position Women Academy. So I try to just make sure I'm able to give you the time and the energy and the support as you go through. But you already know it is a program that helps you to become rich in every single level. And I get, you do it, you do it in like in modules, which take you about a week to get through. You have about three videos per week. You have assignments. There's a book that we read. So when you invest, in yourself. I'm helping you to unleash your God-given purpose. I'm helping you to cultivate an abundant mindset, right? I'm helping you to become more spiritually intimate with God, right? Um, I'm helping you to cultivate your purpose. I'm helping you to master sacred relationships. I'm helping to teach you how to really become a powerful manifester, right? Who can really Put yourself in a position to attract the things that you want and that you and that you desire, right? You don't gotta take my word from it. Go through the group, um, go to the page bit.ly slash power academy. Look at some of the testimonials. Like Jenny said, she started to see a transformation within one week. You can see like Brittany, um, who went through and a couple months later she came back and is engaged and just and then this year she came back and said, Girl, not only did I get it, not only am I married, I got my kids, but girl, I started my own business and now I'm helping other women so to become spiritually rich right and that to me what really is the thing that made my entire week right so yeah I'm excited that, that she's obviously happily married now um but the fact that she has now she's now creating her own thing and actually 
calls herself like the spiritual boss. Like I went through on like her little Instagram and stuff. And I was like, wow. And she's literally teaching women how to have great health and wealth and how basically how to be spiritually healthy, right? So I'm always believing in I'm worthy and I'm wealthy, right? <laughs> That's like my thing, right? So, you know, I felt like I deserve to be well paid. I deserve to be well loved. I deserve to be well pleased. I deserve, um, you know, just to be well purposed, like everything I deserve to have well, right? And again, that's a mindset. And that's what I'm positioning you for and powerfully position Woman Academy, right? So I want you to start moving in that flow. So if this resonates with you, this connects with you, you're like, hmm, that's interesting. I feel like that's that might vibe with me. You can do you can go to bit.ly slash power academy. You can make one full payment right now. It is 60% off. Hey, right now, 60% off. If you're like, okay, Sarah, but that's still a lot, then you can do three payments or you can go ahead and do four payments. Um, and I promise you it's affordable. It's more, it's the most affordable it's ever been since I created this program um a couple years ago. I've never I had it at this price, <laughs> like never, ever, 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 ever. And you'll see why once you see everything inside. So anyway, go to bit.ly slash power academy and see more. Don't forget, I am empowered. I'm empowered. I'm empowered. Do your pose, right? You put the hands on the hips. You do like that, like the fearless girl in New York. I might post that in the group so y'all know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed. I know I had fun. I had a good time. If you're catching a replay, hey, um, you can go back and, and watch the whole thing. But again, watch, go back, watch the whole series, see some more of the testimonials um, from the Academy and just enjoy the rest of your day. Just enjoy, like relax, take a deep breath and just enjoy the rest of your day, right? Let go, get you a glass of wine. I gotta go get mine. I left it downstairs. And just enjoy it, right? And just enjoy the rest of your day, girl, right? Being fierce doesn't mean you have to be on all the time. Being powerful don't mean you got to be on all the time. So just, right? And I wasn't supposed to say that, but somebody's going to watch this and that's something that they needed to hear. So if that's you, just let me know. Um, but anyway, relax, right? And so enjoy the rest of your day and you'll hear from me soon. See you.